Good day, how are you going, mate? Um, my name is Bino Tempting. Well, actually, my real name is Bing, but I go by a lot of names. Like uh, my English name is Bill, and uh, I also go by uh, Bino Tempting on various social media platforms. And I'm really grateful, really thankful, and happy to be here on stage of TEDx. Um, the first time I've seen TED Talk um, was a couple of years ago uh, during um, my, uh, my early years of uh, uni. Um, but I could not imagine one day I would be on this stage um, speaking to people. Uh, so I'm really grateful. Um, the topic I want to bring to you today is called Spent More to Earn More. Now, the name of the topic might sound pretty absurd to you because how are you going to spend more to earn more money, right? Um, but before I get to the topic, let's get to know me, okay? Who am I? Um, for those of you who are sitting here and have no idea who I am, uh, I am a content creator on TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube, and I make content related to English and how to apply real English that native speakers use on a daily basis. Um, and also, also, sometimes I dabble in life in Australia because I started my TikTok channel when I was still back in Australia. Um, and also, lifestyle. I talk about lifestyle and some um, controversies in general as well. Okay, so what exactly is spending more? Now, I'm pretty sure that when I mention the word spend, uh, most of us will think about spending money. Um, but today I want to talk about more than that, beyond that. We're going to take it to not just spending money, but spending your resources, spending your time and effort. Um, let's start with a little story about investing in yourself, uh, aka how I became a content creator on TikTok. Um, it all started back in 2020. So it was during COVID. And um, unfortunately, like a lot of people, I lost my job. Um, I was working in, um, a, uh, in Daiso, at Daiso. It's a Japanese retail store in Australia. And then all of a sudden, COVID hit. I lost my job. I was pretty hopeless, and I didn't know what to do. Then uh, I found out about TikTok. So at first, I didn't have good impression of TikTok. I thought it was just an application for young people to dance to their favorite music. Um, and then, uh, because when TikTok first came out, uh, they only allowed you to upload videos of 15 seconds or less. But then um, later they increased the um, time limit to one minute. And that's when I started seeing a lot of content from Vietnam uh, made by Vietnamese English teachers. And I realized that um, the English that they teach somehow is, is not the English that I experience every single day back in Australia, because I, I had a chance to, to um, live in Australia and work there. So I, I know a thing or two about how real English is spoken there. And I told myself I had to start a channel to tell people how um, real English is. Um, that's how I started the channel. But what does that have to do with investing in yourself? So when I first started, I started with this iPhone 7 Plus. And it was in 2020, so that was a really old model, and my phone wasn't really well uh, functional. Um, in the beginning, it was fine because I, uh, when I first started, I only made videos of about, around 20 to 30 seconds. Um, but uh, when they increased the time limit to one minute, I started making longer videos, and my iPhone 7 Plus started becoming a burden because uh, usually it takes me about 45 minutes to one hour to record myself, and then another 45 minutes to one hour to edit the videos. Um, but then, when I started making longer videos, uh, my phone, because it was old, um, it, was, mm, it was bad, it wasn't really functional, so it, it took me a lot, of, lot more time to finish my videos. And uh, there was this time that it, it was overheating all the time. Um, uh, there's this time that I, I was editing a video, and then I was editing for 15, 15 minutes, and then I have to put it in the freezer. Literally, I have to turn it off, lock my screen, and then put it in the freezer for about 10 minutes for it to cool down until I can keep using it again. Um, so one day it just snapped because I was like, ah, this is too time consuming. So I was like, um, I have to buy a new phone. 
and it was during 2020. So the iPhone 13 Pro Max just came out, and I just told myself, no, um, I have to buy a new phone. And um, the next day I woke up, I went straight to, I had to take a day off. I just told my boss, hey, hey I have something to do, and I have to take a day off. And then I woke up, I got to the city center, I went to the nearest Apple store, and got myself a brand new iPhone 13 Pro Max. And since then, my life was so much easier. I paid, um, if I recall correctly, I paid around $2,300 for that phone, but it paid off because uh, my the video quality was so much higher and uh, the processing time was so much shorter due to the phone not overheating all the time. So I was able to push out more content and more videos and more videos equals more people got to know me and that equals to I got a lot more offers from uh, different brands related to English, and then um, that equals more money. So that's how I invested in myself. I paid 2300 bucks for a new phone, and then I got a lot more than that in return. So let's rethink spending. Uh, my story was just about spending money wisely, but then I also want to touch on spending time and effort, as I mentioned earlier. Let's start with knowledge. Knowledge is power. So when I say knowledge, when you hear the word knowledge, it's probably education. Um, I want to talk about how you should spend money on things that can help educate yourself. For example, if you find that there's a course about whatever or there's a person who can teach you more things um, uh, that, is, um, that can help you in your career, then by all means, spend your money on that. Um, for example, I have... Uh, back in Australia, I did a course of um, dentistry, not dentistry, but I did dentistry in Russia, but then when I went to Australia, I did another two years and of making artificial teeth. I even forgot the name of the course. Um, and then I had these three classmates and they're from Nepal, Nepal, and it's a small country and it's, it's not known for being rich. So these three um, classmates of mine, all of them, they had to do three jobs every single day and they always showed up in class with black eyes and big eye bags because they, they all lack sleep. And um, I asked, I even asked all of them that how much money they had to spend in order to afford the education in Australia. And they all told me that they had to borrow money from relatives and from the bank in Nepal in order to even buy flight tickets to Australia. And um, I really admired their effort and um, I lost contact with one of them, but um, I still have um, contact with two of them. And one, the one is working as a nurse in Sydney, and the other one is working as a dental hygienist, hygienist in Melbourne. And that proves that hard work and money and spending money wisely paid off. They're now um, residing in Australia. They, they're both, if I'm not mistaken, they're both um, permanent residents, meaning that they can live freely and work freely in Australia. That's just an example of how um, well-spent money can do for you. Uh, the second thing I want to touch on is building connections. Um, when, I, um, when I say building connections, I mean spending effort to do things that you normally wouldn't do. If you ask me, do I like being on stage here? Do I like being looked at by a lot of people? Do I like being judged when I speak English by a lot of people? Uh, my answer would be no, absolutely no. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be in front of a lot of people. But uh, deep down, I kind of enjoyed it. I kind of enjoyed it. I kind of like sp uh, standing here, uh, interacting with people, uh, talking to people. And that opened a lot of opportunities for me. And by saying yes to a lot of things that I actually don't like doing because I'm an introvert, um, I had the chance to meet up with a lot of other famous content creators, or even celebrities. And that opened up a lot of, a door to a lot of um, opportunities for me uh, in the future. Uh, time is gold. Um, now let's talk about spending time wisely. Back in 2018, um, an, a tragic incident happened to my family. My uh, father-in-law passed away. All of a sudden, he was a healthy individual but then one day we were just chilling at home and then my wife got a call from her family and saying that, hey, your dad just passed away um, due to an accident. 
And I was like, well, time is short. So since then, I always try now. And that's one of the reasons, one of the reasons why I decided to move back to Vietnam to be closer to my family. Because life is short. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow. So spend more time with your loved ones and your friends. You never know what's going to happen. So treasure all the moment you have with them. And your well-being matters. Take better care of yourself. What does that mean? Um, that means that I once heard this saying from a pretty famous person, uh, a successful businessman. He said that um, from what he sees, uh, young people nowadays are pretty lazy compared to people in his time. Because he said that back in his time, he could work um, 16 or 18 hours a day, and he could go by with just as uh, little as two to three hours of sleep every day. But I'm like, um, and also the peer pressure that young people have to experience nowadays. But I just want to tell you that if you feel like you're overwhelmed, if you feel like you're doing too much, take a rest. Take a rest. Like for me, personally, my team and I, I reject about 20 to 30 invitations or offers from different brands every month. Every month I turn down 20 to 30 offers from different brands, but I'm happy because I'm happy with the money that I'm making right now. I can put more effort to make more videos, to promote more products, but I feel like I'm happy right now. I don't have to push myself. Why do I need that? Uh, I know that a lot of other content creators, they can make up to even a couple of billions Vietnam, Vietnamese dong um, a month, but um, I'm happy with what I have, so why do I have to push myself? All right? So, um, and even the peer pressure that you guys probably are experiencing right now, um, just because your friends are more successful doesn't mean that you have to be. Um, there's, there's this lady that she used to be, she used to work on the same team as mine back in Australia. She's been working in the same position for 20 years. And when I asked her, why don't you want a higher position? And she said that I'm happy with what I, what I have today. I'm happy with the income. I'm happy with the work environment. Why do I have to change? So do not feel pressured if um, people around you are more successful. Just do your best, but that's it. Do not force yourself to work harder than you could. That's what I mean. Uh, now let's talk managing risks. Of course, when you invest in something, there's always be risks, even investing in yourself. So building a safety net, always trying to have a reserve fund. So for when something happened, once for something bad happened, you could take care of it. Um, I have a saving account that I created back when I was in Australia, and I still have it now. Um, back then, I used to put around 200 or $300 in this account, and I never touched it, never, even till now. It's still there. And if now, if I want to travel to Australia, or if I have to go to Australia for work, I have a, a reserve fund there for me. I can spend it how I want. I still keep putting money in there every single week, right? Um, next is seeking professional advice, be it making a channel or opening a business. If you have friends or if you have um, acquaintances that have experience in the field, by all means, ask them for help, for advice. One, uh, one thing that Khanh Vi mentioned before, when I, had a, uh, when I got to do a show with her on this same stage at FTU, um, she said that she was inspired by this person, I forgot his name, but he said to her that, Đừng ngại đi xin cơ hội, xin cơ hội. He used that word and she said the same thing, xin cơ hội. Even Khánh Vi is a very famous person, right? But she, personally, she said that she still goes and asks for opportunities, if there's one, from higher people. So, đừng ngại xin cơ hội, okay? And uh, balancing short-term gains to long-term goals. Um, some investments take time to be in effect, so just because you invested in something yesterday and you you're not going to get uh, and you don't get anything big right tomorrow or next month or even next year um, don't di be discouraged it might work in two three years you never know right uh, just know that you did your best uh, you did the research thoroughly in whatever you're trying to do and last but not least is setting realistic expectations now I want to end this I want to end my speech with a story of one of my uh, best co-workers I had in Australia. 
he is a qualified math teacher. But one day, um, we were working at this Daiso, Daiso shop, and one day he came to me and he's like, uh, hey Bill, uh, I want to be a live streamer. I don't want to work at this store anymore. And he, the next day, he invested around $10,000 in equipment, um, and he started live streaming straight away. At first, it was working for him. He got a lot of followers really quickly, but then I knew it because this market was really saturated. So the follower count just tapered down, and then after time went by, and after about half a year, he quit because the guy virtually made no money from the donation money, and he had to quit. So, uh, and I even told him that I already foresaw the, the 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 outcome. That's why I didn't. He asked me to join him to be a live streamer, but I said no because I know that the market was really saturated. I'm not going to get anything from it, so no. And I made the right choice. I didn't go down the same road. And my key takeaway, this is the last part, my key takeaway is if you think that there's something worth investing in, that it can benefit yourself in the future, but you don't have that much money to spend on it, but you know, you know for sure it's going to help you in the future with your career. Um, by all means, spend your money wisely on it and just treasure your time with your loved ones and um, build your connections, expand your friend, um, friend circle, uh, do your best and don't be discouraged by, if you, started, if you just started something and it's not working right now, don't be discouraged. Keep trying, do your best. You might get there someday. And that's the end of my speech. Thank you for listening. <laughs>